What is up guys and welcome to a live player review. Now it was requested by one of my subscribers and it is here and I'm bringing it to you guys right now. And the player requested was none other than Hakan Chalognalu. Now I probably could not, I could not pronounce this guy's name. Let's put it like straight away. I could not pronounce his name. I'm going to call him Hakan Chalognalu and it's probably not his name. So I'm just going to call him Hakan or even Carl because that's the first name of his name. Now Chalognalu got an inform this week which would be... Actually, by the time this uploaded last week, and he has an absolutely solid card. Loads of people love his normal card. I personally don't like it that much. I find it like really like overrated, if that makes sense. He's got great free kicks, don't get me wrong. But everything else, I just couldn't find like anything good about him. Now, however, Chalognalu has 75 pace, 80 shooting, 84 passing, 81 dribbling, 5 star weak foot, and 4 star skills. He also comes as a default striker, which is a massive change in uh, place from what he is in his normal card, where it's actually just a camp. So, I've actually changed the back to centre forward, so he has the 9 cam in a cam spot, because his stats say he's best played as a cam rather than a striker, to be honest. Now, his in-game uh, stats are on screen right now, and as you can see, some of the standout stats are that he has 81 reactions, 82 ball control, 82 dribbling, 89 shot power, 91 long shot, uh, 84 vision, 8, 98 free kick, which is like his best free, like that's his best stat, he's a free kick taker. Uh, he's got 82 short passing and 96 curve. That's right, 96 curve. Bloody ludicrous. This guy cost me 35k. I actually got him on uh, a bargain. I think I got him on a, I picked him up on an open bid. He actually sells instantly for 38. So, you know, 3k profit if it sells, not including the, the attacks. Now, the team I'm going to use him in my live game is around this team. Now, up front, we've got Hernandez and Kalu, who's probably a, like a cheap beast. Uh, in the midfield, we've got Rode, Bender, and Castro. Right back, we've got Diekmeyer, Nastasic, Papadopoulos, Bernat, and in goal, we have Summer, who is so good. So we're going to go to this game, and hopefully, Chanoglu can actually score some goals. Well, that's what he's there for in that cam spot. Let's do it. Chanoglu, look at it. Look at the way he just stands there like an absolute boss. We're going in to our game against a... All right, that seems like a cheap BPL team. Mbemba and Okore, the pace in the center backs is ridiculous. He's got just normal Marshall up front. I'm not actually using normal Marshall because by the, by the time I bought his inform, normal Marshall wasn't even in the market. Like, he was just gone. <laughs> he was so gone. So, Goodson's got a dirty long shot, and so is Barkley. Then he's, he's playing, that's Bakary Sacco, I think, on the left mid spot. They're playing as right mid and Chadley. I think this could be a good game. Now, let's hopefully get adjusted to the PlayStation again. And uh, hopefully, Chanaglu can actually score us some pretty beast goals. Like, hey, okay, here we go. Nastasic, this is where you're coming in big. This is where you're coming in big. Oh, the bullshit penalties already begin. Bullshit penalties already are begin. You press nothing and cause a penalty. Brilliant. Oh, come on! It went under Summer! Are you choking me? Alright, he's gone past... Uh, he's mugged off Okore. Gives it in. Hernandez, have you here, Hernandez? Smacks into the back of the net. The new man, Hernandez. This is actually the first time I'm trying to Hernandez as well. <laughs> so, let's see how Hernandez performs. He played absolutely incredible in the Champions League yesterday. Scoring a few for Bayern Leverkusen as well. Oh, come on! The cheese. The cheese right there. Jesus Christ. Alright, come on, Chalog move. Nope, that's fine. That's fine. Give that ball. That's a great ball to Kalu. Body fainting. Oh, no. Kalanoglu. Oh, Kalanoglu with a long shot. Oh, my God. Well, can it be called a long shot? Yes. I, I guess it can. It's outside the area, right? Let me see the replay. Kalu being taken out completely, but Kalanoglu getting it and then just smacking it into the back of the corner. Long shot for days from Kalanoglu. Oh, my God. I didn't think he'd be that good. His normal card didn't do that for me. Alright, lovely little ball to Kalu there. Come on, Kalu, you've got a clue. You've got a clue. Show me you've got a clue. Ronaldo chops inside. Berber spin it. Berber spin. Okay, no. Chaloglu! Oh, it got blocked! Who the fuck blocked it? Was that Bender? Lars, you freaking moron. You've The lightest of touches and it was enough. Oh, the referee made me freaking bounce out of the way! Oh man, this is a counter attack of dreams here. Look at this. So many people pushing forwards for him. That's a goal. That's a goal. Even if he passes it across. Didn't pass it across. Scored it. Jesus Christ. Gave him so much space. To slot that one home with Martial. That was so poor for me. So
so poor. Penalty. As if it's not enough, I've just given away another fucking penalty by running into him. So much bullshit. The power is incredible here. It's gonna go this way. He's gone the same way. How does he knock it so low? Oh my god, what's gonna happen? Referee, come on! How was that not a foul? Oh my god, how has he got away with that? Oh, that's fucking annoying. That's not deserved. I wasn't happy with that game. We're going to go again, and hopefully this time we can win. Because that game was ridiculous. I gave me two penalties that weren't penalties. And that was the only way I lost. All right, guys. So we're going up against our second game today. And oh my god, it's a league onside with Matuidi, Bufal, Cavani, Braithwaite. The pace up front is ridiculous with Braithwaite. Bufal with the five-star skill. I believe that's Bufal. Might not be Bufal, but I think it's Bufal. And he's got Sabid as his left back. You know, it's a solid... Uh, league on side, I can't complain about it. Hopefully, it's a good game for us, and hopefully, we can score again with Kalonglu. He was unfortunate in the last game not to get another goal. I feel like I could probably win. Say, where is this whole side of the fucking pitch? Where was that whole fucking side of my defense? There we go. Nice little assist. From Kalonglu to Kalu to score a goal. That was nicely played from Kalonglu. He keeps the ball really tight to his feet, I have to admit. So that's pretty good. That's a beautiful... Oh my god, that's a great pass! Holy crap! You see Chalonglu? You've got 92 curve... 96 curve, Chalonglu. And you did that. Thank you. You're giving the ball straight to Kalonglu, who has that through ball of dreams to Kalu. Oh my god. Hernandez, near post, there we go, 2-1, all started off from Kanoglu, I have to admit, Kanoglu as a centre attacking mid this time is incredible, he's all scoop turn, body feint, fake shot, finesse, oh. someone beat him to the, oh, shit, for game, there we go, there we go, Hernandez, give it off to Kalu, oh god, Kalu, taking ages, but he's got it off the post and in, come on, that's it, 3-1, this game might be ours. It might be ours. And that's it, guys. He's actually just quit the game. Chinoglu getting one assist along with Hernandez and Kalu both get. All right, guys. So you saw that two games we played with Chinoglu. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, yeah, he was actually pretty good for 35k as a center attacking mid. I mean, I, I probably need to get a few more games into him and see how he actually performs. But from those two games, he seems like a solid center, center attacking mid. However, his only issue I have is his skill moves seem a little bit unresponsive. He wasn't doing the stop turn and the Berber spin and also the roulettes. They weren't coming off as swiftly as I'd like a center attacking mid to perform them. And also, although he's got like amazing finishing stats, the only goal he scored for me was that one long shot. Like every other shot was, felt really weak or didn't feel like it was going on target or anything. So I'm not sure if I need to keep practicing my outside the area finesse shots or something. Because he's got 96 curve. You'd expect finesse shots to be his thing. So yeah, anyway. 35k, you know what, I, I'd say, yeah, go out there and try him. As a center attacking mid in the uh, Bundesliga, I don't see many other players. Maybe Kagawa, but that's it. Like, he's weak, though. Just get that in your head. Like, he is weak. He's not going to be able to, like, muscle off defenders. Even though he's doing his all right against David Luiz there. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys next time.